<laughs> salute, salute, salute. Bow, bow, bow. What it is, man. This is Boxing Nocturnal Thoughts. Coming at you with a video. You know what I'm saying? Um, first of all, let me do this video first. I just heard that the Tartan Tornado, Josh Taylor, is rematching Jack Catterall. I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? I like Josh Taylor. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching him for a while. Uh, I really was paying attention to him when he did the tournament. He got the Muhammad Ali trophy. And he went through some tough competition. I can't remember the names. A little bit rusty on it. Ivan Brillick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he fought another tough dude. And then he, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it culminated in him fighting the Rougarou. Regis progress and that shit was a war a war you know what I'm saying all our war could have went either way but he got the nod he came he came out on top but it was a back and forth you know what I'm saying uh it was a damn near slug fest with a lot of skill at the same time Josh Taylor he, he likes to get in there shoulder bump you get some space uppercut you you know what I'm saying he got little tricks and tactics. He switches a little bit here and there. He fights from the, the mid-range. He gets in the telephone booth. He can fight a little bit long range. He got a decent jab. You know what I'm saying? He's crafty and he's tough and he's gritty. And Regis, Regis progress also comes with a lot of power, a lot of, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, movement where he's hard to hit from the waist up. He just is all over the place, can move and dip and dodge and come up with a lot of counters and he's grit durable tough dude too so that was a great war and that was a great fight to see the caliber of josh taylor you know what i'm saying then he linked up with uh david benson or david or ben ben davidson you know what i'm saying the former trainer of tyson fury he went out there with him uh had like a homecoming fight or I, I, he might have fought on the road i can't remember but he knocked this dude out in the first round and then he went to fight uh, Jack Catterall. And it was trying to kind of have uh, him and Terrence Bud Crawford lock horns. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't work out that way. Um, I think he had like COVID. And I think he suffered from an injury to his leg. Um, when he went in to fight this Jack Catterall, I think to me at that point in time, I really wasn't familiar with Jack Catterall, so I had to do a little bit of due diligence and research and seeing that he had, you know, worked with Mayweather. He had been around the block. Uh, his name just really wasn't that big, but he was a tough customer. And then when he fought, he he it was a close fight, controversial fight. I myself personally, I had to go back and watch that fight again, but I thought that Jack Catterall kind of, he did enough to win, but he didn't do enough to dethrone the king, take a champion, to take the, you gotta really, really, really beat the champion. I thought at the end of the fight, he sort of let Josh Taylor, you know, get back into a position where you could argue his victory. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was just the theatrics of it. It was the, it was the look of it. He, he was fighting, you know, Jack, Jack, Jack Catterall was, was, he didn't, finished strong he started off strong he held his ground but then he started to fade a little bit start to wilt a little bit and i think that championship caliber of, of josh taylor you know he just had the willpower he just kept pushing 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 to me he never put himself in a position where he just dominated his opponent to where you can be like yeah he won that fight but he did enough to where because he held on to a victory it was like a damn near draw type of fight but he's the champion so the win wasn't complete the win seemed somewhat um you know what i'm saying fugazi you could argue it you could say that was a robbery you could say it was controversy you could say that man this dude got gifted a victory and as a champion a true champion sometimes you got to come back and fight those type of fights again to really show and prove that you on a different level. So you're not talking about, oh, my shoulder was hurt. Oh, I had COVID or my leg was hurt or my training camp didn't go the way I wanted it to or this, that, and the third. 
and then you giving this dude another shot too. You didn't just, you know what I'm saying, have a tough fight with Jack Catterall and then say, no, I'm gonna take my W and I'm gonna, I'm gonna run with it. You know what I'm saying? He like, no, we finna fight again. We are gonna run this shit back. Even though I got the victory, we gonna run this shit back. That's what a true champion does. And he sacrificed belts. From what I'm hearing, he sacrificed belts. He's, as a champion, he's sacrificing to fight this dude again to show to himself that he could beat this dude. Which I really think, watching that fight, Jack, Catter Jack Catterall is a tough dude, but I don't think he's really on the level of Josh Taylor. I really was looking at Josh Taylor like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to give nobody excuses, but if you had COVID and you had an injury to your leg, you couldn't train where you wanted to train, you know what I'm saying? And you still came in there and had that kind of a performance. I'm thinking if you come in there at 100%, I think this time you're going to put a stamp on Because the way he looked against Jose Ramirez, the way he looked against Regis Progress, the way he looked on his uh, first debut fight with Ben Davidson knocking that one guy out in the first round, he didn't look like that in the fight against Jack Catterall. And his mind, it just, something was, to me, something seemed off. So, um, I want to salute him for taking this rematch. And I also want to salute Jack Catterall because I was asleep on him. Didn't give him a shot. I thought this was going to be a, a, a showcase fight for, for Taylor. And honestly, when I watched that fight, I had to take my hat off and say, Jack Catterall is the business. You know what I'm saying? Dude, he's he for real, for, he a warrior, period, point blank. So this rematch, I'm excited about. And I feel, I feel like as boxing fans, we should really support this this whole fight is just it's a great fight for boxing it's one of them sleeper fights you know one of them fights that if you ain't paying attention to you can sleep on i think it's a it's it's, it's a high caliber fight and it has some history and they they both tough dudes I mean both great boxers so salute to josh taylor the tartan tornado and uh jack catterall looking forward to y'all rematch bye